my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button. Please do subscribe. Excuse the wet hair. I've just come back from walking Max and it started to rain. The weather is awful. It's cold as well. Damp and drizzly. I'm here by myself in Rochester. My son went back to London yesterday afternoon. So, basically guys, um, I had a barrage of unwanted messages before I went out and they were unwanted. It's an idiot mucking about trying to frighten me. So they continued to text me while I was outside in the dark. Now just after seven, I got ready, I, put, I had my boots on, I put my coat with the hood on. And I put Max's lead on and we went out. And we went out round the back. And I had a bag of rubbish which I threw into the bin. And I just, I didn't go onto the field this evening. It's far too wet, it's far too muddy and slippery and it's far too dark for a woman by herself to go around the field on her own. And I knew that, especially after the messages that I was getting while I was outside. So I walked along the riverside, I held my head up high, I'd been feeling depressed, not angry, depressed and upset and a bit on my own, as you do, especially as you get older. So I walked by the riverside and I was walking Max and he was very slow, he wanted to sniff every bush, every step, everything and I was starting to get wet and dripping with rain but I, you know, he wanted, I just let Max do what he wanted to do. The fishermen had gone. I'm not surprised because the weather's really pissy and cold and damp. And one guy walked past me, a bloke walked past me in the pitch black and it was raining. Walked past him and I started to get messages. And somebody said, what am I doing this evening? What am I, Crystal, doing this evening? When I live by myself, there's not a lot I can do, is there? <sighs> I mean, I'm not going out in the dark by myself down Rochester High Street. So the guy with the big ears, really in charge of 11, said to me, what was I doing this evening as I was walking my dog? Um... He said, and here it is, a bit dark for walking dog, someone might get you. Someone might get me. And that was at 25 past seven when I was on my way home, walking around the block with Max. There were some guys obviously going out to a fancy dress party around the corner because there was a load of guys laughing. Like there was a group, a crowd of people, like they were going off to a fancy dress party. So you, I heard a load of laughter as I had that message walking down the path. A load of guys laughing, dressed up. I don't know, I didn't even bother to stop and take a look. I just walked on. It's raining. I, you don't stop and film things in the pitch black when it's pissing with rain, do you? I can't film things outside because my battery's dead. I haven't filmed anything outside for a while now because my battery dies and it, it, I can't film outside. <coughs> so I walked along opposite the co-op and you can't see clearly in the dark. You, can't, you can hear people can hear what they're saying, you can hear the laughter, but you can't really see them 100%. And yes, yeah, someone could be hiding behind trees and bushes and God knows what. And I get a message, someone might get me. So I just carried on walking, keeping my head up high. There was a woman uh, walking really fast in front of me. I'm not surprised, all you could hear was maniacs at the top of the road. Maniacs. Any woman must be frightened if they're coming home from work or they have been out somewhere and they're coming back walking underneath that bridge. I'd be terrified. 
Um, so she was off in front of me running. I just took it easy and slow. And I walked Max around um, another road. And I walked slowly home into my flat. And there was people coming off the train laughing. So people were coming. I, I got that message, someone might get you. And people were getting off the train, off Rochester Railway Station, and laughing. And I'm not cross. Someone's had their washing machine on whilst I've been out, so the ceiling or wall is shaking with the washing machine. I'm not in the slightest bit angry. I'm disappointed that I'm just allowed to walk alone like this with getting threats like that. Someone might get me. It, it's just laughable and ridiculous. And I'm back in my flat. I'm frozen cold, but I've got gas to heat up the flat so I can put the radiators on. And it's just ridiculous. And, let's, and my mother Jennifer called after that guy who said someone might get me as well. Let's see what my mother had to say, Jennifer. Welcome to your EE voicemail. You have two new messages and two saved messages. First new message received today at 3.02pm. Hello, Jeanette. It's me, your mum, Jennifer, speaking to you from my landline phone to you, Jeanette, for this Saturday afternoon. I hope you're okay thinking of you. I'm giving you a ring to let you know that I am thinking of you. Okay, Jeanette, bye for now, and I'll give you a ring later on this evening. Message deleted. Next new message. Received today at 7.32pm. Good evening, Janessa. Good news. A useful evening telephone call from my landline phone to you, Janessa. Good night. God bless. And I'll phone you tomorrow. Bye. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? It's like some kind of like horror stroke comedy sitcom. Isn't it? Here's my mother. Well, hopefully I'll speak to you tomorrow. If someone hasn't got me... I'm going to watch more episodes of Coronation Street. I'm going to relax, make myself a cup of hot chocolate with some lovely marshmallows on top. I'm going to chill out with my dog. And it isn't real. It, it couldn't possibly be real. At all. Could it? And I'm still single by myself looking for somebody, a companion or something. And I just keep getting... Somebody who's a psychotic nutcase sending me pictures of the most hideous looking, frightening blokes I could ever imagine and nothing, yeah, nothing else. And my mother rings afterwards and I don't need to speak to mummy. I, I, I'm quite happy by myself, thank you. just ridiculous. Do I need a phone call? Do I need a phone call from my mum? I'm 55 years old. I've watched Coronation Street. You know, Albert Tatlock was 88. 88 years old living with uh, Ken. I mean, come on, let me grow up and stop being stupid. Please. See you later.